All right, so today I am joined by PFL light heavyweight finalist, Impa Kansongani, who's coming off a big TKO win. And now he's got a championship bout against Josh Silviera on November 24th for the PFL world title and a million dollar grand prize. What's going on, Impa? How are you, man? Hey, man, how you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me on, Jacob. I'm uh, loving life, man. I'm loving life. I'm back in town, training throughout the past couple weeks. You know, I'm uh, looking forward to you know, claiming this victory in the title fight, first one. Uh, at the Bellator fights this past week, I didn't, I didn't stay through the fight. I helped my teammate out a little bit and, you know, throughout the fight week. And then now I'm on the way to corner another fight. Uh, so I'm active. I'm active. Nice. Uh, do your boys always hit you up for that? Like, they're always trying to get you to corner them for their fights and stuff like that, for the smaller promotions, maybe? Uh, some do. I have my own yeah. business called Impulse Refinery, so I work with other fighters, too. So I want to help, you know, people who want, like, people, anybody who wants to trade in general, but also fighters. Like, details are things that I feel and see in MMA that would help. And uh, one of the guys, Joe Diamond's fighting tonight. Uh, one of my best friends and training partners, Aaron Jeffrey, we talked about it before, yeah. before I even had my last fight. And we fought back to back weeks, and I said, "Hey, I'll come out for years after I've my victory." So, got the victory, and I'm gonna go back out and help my bro. So, yeah, people have asked me over time. I think I'm starting to corner more and more. Uh, at the same time, with the PFO uh, season is going on, I don't really have much time to to go other videos. I usually go with Delano because it's usually my recovery period. But um, yeah, I used to corner a lot though. I used to corner a good amount, but not as much as I used to anymore. Okay, is the is that business you have kind of to help people get started in fighting? Because it's expensive, right? Yeah. So yeah, so I yeah. have like two, a couple portions to it. Right? And so if I work with fighters, you know, want to want to help them. So it's very like one on one. If you want to break down film, if you want to um, improve your striking, work on the ground. Different things I feel in MMA. Since you know I'm kind of newer to MMA training over the past almost five years now, there are certain things I feel like I picked up that maybe somebody didn't have with a traditional background. So it helps. And then, uh, yeah, anybody who wants to train in general, it's like, hey, they're kind of interested in MMA or they like martial arts and want to get better at a boxing, kickboxing. They want to work on their self-defense, you know, and like, that's what I, an awareness of. That's why that's where I uh, focus on and helping the person become the best version of themselves. Okay, that's dope. Like, do they pay for that or how does it work to kind of sign up with you to, to get started if somebody was interested? Yeah, so it's a one-on-one -on -one sessions. Uh, they sign up, you know, set the rate, and then keep them going. Depending on what they want and what they're looking for, the rate will change. You know, if they want to learn, learn. Um, we'll talk about the rate there. And then if they want to do it like it's kind of like a hobbyist and still work, we'll, we'll work that rate as well.